Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to quickly discuss what prebiotics are. Now this is the one most people haven't heard of. Now most people are familiar with what probiotics are, which I recently made a video about. And I'll give you the link to the direct link to that video at the end of this one. Now one thing to note is that you should be taking both probiotics and prebiotics. So that's why I wanted to make today's video about prebiotics. Again, not many people have heard of them. Now, prebiotics are types of dietary fiber that feed the friendly bacteria in your gut. They are the types of carbohydrates that humans can't digest. Basically, prebiotics are food that help grow and strengthen the good, friendly bacteria in your gut. By ingesting both probiotics and prebiotics, you'll improve your gut flora, which improves all of your health. As stated in my previous video, a healthy gut bacteria affects so much of your body from head to toe, inside and out. First of all, it, it affects your skin. So if you're concerned about pimples and hair loss and wrinkles and discoloration and rosacea and all that stuff, rosacea, it improves that. If you want to gain more muscle and lose fat, it helps. Having more energy, it improves your mood and you feel happy when you take a good bacteria. Boosting your immune system, it does that. It helps improve your hormones. It reduces pain and inflammation. It gives you a healthier colon and regularity. Also, a healthy gut bacteria allows you to live longer and helps avoid many illnesses, diseases, and cancers. Yep, your gut bacteria affects all of these factors. It's basically almost like an organ. It's got its own little thing that's doing to help protect your body. Unfortunately, anytime you take antibiotics, okay, whether it's the pills or even in the food and the water that's found in our thing, you're basically killing off all of this friendly, healthy bacteria for many months. Now, just like probiotics that I mentioned, there are also foods that naturally contain prebiotics. Now, the foods that are high in prebiotic fibers is chicory root, dandelion greens, oats and barley and apples, also Jerusalem artichokes, which is not the same as regular artichokes, um, asparagus, garlic, leeks, and onions. All right, now let's talk about supplements. Of course, some of you may not want to eat these foods. It's not a problem. Again, you can always take a prebiotic supplement. Some of this simplest and least expensive one is called inulin powder. I take the one by, uh, by now, foods, I get it, it's organic, right? There, there's really nothing special about them, just make sure it's organic, inulin, there's no taste, okay, so it's not a problem. Start off with just half a teaspoon, not tablespoon, at night. Mix it with water or whatever, see how it goes. Then go up it to twice daily. And slowly over the next few weeks, gradually increase it to one teaspoon two or three times daily. Okay, you can take it on an empty stomach, it's not a problem. It takes a little bit of time to get your digestion system used to it, so start low and build up, okay? Or else, you gotta go to the bathroom, all right? So make sure you take both your probiotics and prebiotics. Now, below in the description area, I've got additional links about this topic, including the differences between pre and probiotics. As always, if you found this information helpful, Please share it with a friend, tell others so that they can have a healthier life as well. As always, uh, make sure you subscribe if you are and click that bell icon so you'll be notified of similar videos when they're released. And thanks for watching. Have yourself a happy and healthy day.